Alright, hey guys. This is going to be a little tutorial on how to tweak your uh, Arma 3's FPS so you can uh, so you can play it a lot smoother. Now I'm not going to go into like get into all that detail. I'm just going to get started right away. So what you want to do is right click, uh, just go to your Steam and go to your library. When you see Arma 3, you click on properties and then under general you should see set launch options. Click on that. I will be posting this in the description and you want to copy paste this on your set launch options. So I'm using a mod which also include uh, Task Force Radio and CDA3 so this will be discluded. If you're wondering what that is then now you know. I'll also be letting you guys know what these um, numbers are for. Um, I won't be explaining the skip intro, no pause, that stuff, cause they're not exactly confusing. You don't need to know those. Don't they? Those uh, don't really harm your computer or the game if you uh, put it or not. But I will be um, explaining what the CPU count, the max min, all those stuff are. All right. So once you've done that, I'm gonna just exit out of your Steam, and I use mods, but I also use Play with 6 as my mods manager. So for you guys who don't use mods or Play with 6, you can just skip this step. But for those of you who do, you can just uh, here you go. Sorry about that. Um, what you want to do is uh, go to options on the top right corner of your program and click on settings. After you click on settings, you want to go down and click on game settings. Quickly we'll look at my message here. Alright, so apparently the ship program has stopped working. But, on the startup parameters, you want to copy paste the exact same thing you put in your Steam uh, launch, set launch options. So you just copy paste that, the exact same thing. Now I'm going to get in to what the numbers are. Now if you look here, CPU count equals X. X being the number of CPU you have in your processor. You can find this out by doing go near uh, run program and typing dxdiag spelled dxdiag and then just click on enter. Soon enough a small window like this should pop up and your memory over here third to the last under system information is the amount of random access memory you have so that will count as your max mem. This is the amount of RAM you have. I have mine set for 8 gigabytes because I have 16 gigabytes over here. But honestly, um, known for a fact, Arma 3 is a 32-bit game which means it's supposedly like it shouldn't be able to handle more than 4 gigabytes but what the hell, why not right? Okay, so next up we have um, total, uh, if you click on display, under device, this is your video card information. So next we have approximate total memory. This is your video card's memory. So this is kind of what you want to put under max VRAM. Not sure why this changed because I had around 12 and then some other numbers. So I put it as 8 gigabytes, but my armor is running fine so I'm not gonna change that and then we have X threads this is the amount of virtual threads you have in your uh, CPU correct me if I'm wrong but if you have 4 to 6 cores then you want to uh, put 3 as the number but if you have 8 cores and above then just set it as 7 and I forgot to tell you guys, if you go back to system and processor over here under system information, that's fourth to the last, it'll tell you how much CPUs you have. So like eight CPUs, that means you have eight cores. So that's what I put eight. CPU count is eight. And high, this lets you run the game at high priority whenever you start it right away. All right. I hope you guys got that. If not, you can just um, you can go back in the video and uh, reassure yourself next up we're gonna go to the folders and the we're gonna start editing the configuration files of Arma 3 so what you want to do is just go to your documents folder 
and you'll see Arma 3 and Arma 3 other profiles. First off, click on Arma 3, scroll down, and look for arma3.cfg. After you have this up, um, you want to change a couple of variables here. So the first thing you want to look for is um, just press Control Find to find it quick, uh, quickly. First thing you want to look for is GPU underscore max frames ahead. Just click Enter, and you want to set that as one. Next off, we have VSync. Set that as zero, and then we have Refresh, Refresh, Refresh. There we go. Set this as 120. I have different settings set up for my Arma, but to follow this guide, you want to set that as 120. Next, we have HDR Precision. You want to set this as zero. I said again, uh, you don't need to follow my uh, my settings because this is based off of how well my computer can handle the game. So. Yeah, to follow the guide would probably be your uh, next, like your best bet. And then when you find your PC can handle the game a little more uh, to the quality side, then that's when you start uh, messing around with your own settings. All right, so you wanna save that, and then you wanna exit arma3.cfg. Next up, you go to documents, and then arma3 other profiles. Go to your character profile. And do the exact same thing with uh, your character name dot arma3 profile not the one that has a bars on it i repeat not the one that has a bars on it but the first one that says arma3 profile and it should come out to look like this now here you're going to do the exact same thing as you did in arma3.cfg you want to this time look for scene complexity so there we have it. This will be by default set at 200,000. 100,000 is a very good number. I am warning you guys now that this is what determines how far you can see into the distance. Even if you set this as, for example, let's say 1 or 0, even if you change the overall view distance in game, it will not work. It will not work. So I would recommend 100,000 because that's that's just a very good number to put it at. Okay, next up we have Shadow Z Distance. Alright, so Shadow Z Distance, I have minus 100, but you want to set these as 0. Set it as 0. And then next we have Terran Grid. This, set this as 50. 50 is a good number. And then next we have view distance. 2000 is a good number. You can set it as 1500, but I wouldn't recommend any lower than 15. Uh, 1000 is low, it's just way too low. I think 2000 is just enough to see maybe like over 1200 meters out with your uh, sniper scope. So, um, yeah, that's it for the configuration files just save both of those and exit out of that now next I wanna let you guys know that th these are two programs these are optimization uh, programs they also scan your PC they detect your video card and they give you updates whenever there are updates for your display driver but for this we're gonna be using this because optimizes your game in one single click. Now for AMD or ATI cards, you may you should or may want to download. This is this is a this is optional, but you can do it, right? All right, so AMD or ATI, you can download something called Raptor. Um, it should if you search Raptor, the uh, um, R A P T R on Google. You should uh, just come up with the download link, or just uh, you know, just, I'll put the, I'll put these down on my description so you can just go, go there as well. And for Nvidia, we have Nvidia Experience. Um, 
what these do is basically I'll show you I'm using an AMD card so I'll quickly show you what Raptor looks like so uh, when you start out Raptor it should look like this for some reason you can't detect my video card but you should probably I'll probably fix that I'm gonna click on library and once you do it will show you a list of scanned games within your computer so let's say I have Skyrim or um, Sins of a Solar Empire here. I wanna play. I wanna play this game at um, the best performance, right? So, all right. Yeah, actually, I can't. I can't fucking optimize that because I haven't played it yet. All right, let's try War Thunder. Okay, so I wanna play this at the max performance. So I would. Click on this bar, just drag it over the performance, and then click optimize. That's it. You're done. Your game is now fully set at the best performance it can give. After you downloaded those, or not, it doesn't matter, but you can, it is a, they are very good programs to have. We will go into the in-game settings of Arma, and I will get to that in just a minute. Alright guys, so here we are in game, and we're gonna go ahead and quickly configure our video settings. After you get in here on quality, you just want to make everything down to low. Your overall should be around 2000, your object would be around 1.5 or 1.6, shadow, just um, you don't really need this, but you know, 100, I want my game to look a little bit okay. Not like complete 8-bit graphics, so... Next up, under display, Vsync will be disabled because you set it as 0 earlier on the configuration settings. And that's it for display. We'll move on to AA and PP. Now for here, you just want to disable everything. Except for depth of field and sharpen filter. Just set these as 10, or one, and 10 and 100. The rest would be 0. And yeah, I used to run the game at around 15 to uh, 20 frames per second. Now with this, I run it at almost 60. Now, if you've noticed, when I click that, like 15 is like, like, what do you mean 60? It's only at around 30 to 40. But here's the thing, sometimes Remember when I told you to copy paste that in the uh, set launch options, the dash high thing? Sometimes it doesn't start the game at high priority. So what you want to do is right click on your uh, just alt tab out of the game. Go to your task manager. Go under details. Right click on Arma 3. And then you want to click on set priority and then set it to high. Now you see it buffed up to almost 40 to 50, right? From that, from starting at like 15 to 20, I almost gained 20 to 30 FPS from this. I hope you guys um, enjoy playing Arma 3. I hope this helped you out. If you have any more questions or if something didn't work out for you guys, just uh, don't be afraid to post in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.